Well, my dad didn't fish, but uh, several of my buddies that I went to school with, they got into bass fishing and uh, they started taking me. First trip, fell in love with it. I had read an article in, uh, I believe it was Bassmaster Magazine, probably back in the late 80s, early 90s, about uh, the AC plug out on the west coast. It was talking about fishing these trout imitation baits in mountain lakes. And I just got to thinking, these are mountain lakes, there's trout in these lakes, why wouldn't that work here? Uh, bought one. Made up my mind to go down and just fish, and you just, well, you have to fish it. Put your head down and fish it. Realize you may not get any bites. And once I started catching fish doing that, I just uh, couldn't get away from it. I just love it. I really take it personal. Try super hard to get people to catch fish, and if they don't, I kind of take it probably a little too personal. I have to just keep pushing myself and, and remember that the fishing was probably going to pick back up and remember the years in the past. When I've got a client out and they catch a big fish, and I don't mean to sound as though when I catch them, I don't get excited. I do, but there's just something about getting somebody else on a big fish that just really gets me revved up. Coming alive. My website is multi-species angling. I like to fish for every kind of fish and fresh water I can think of, but I tend to always come back to bass as my main focus, and I'm not really sure I know why. I'm not a person of change. I don't see me quitting my God service. I'm sure there will be a time when I get physically unable to do it, but it's something I enjoy. I enjoy taking people. I just don't see me quitting. I just don't see that. My name's Rob McComas, and I'm a professional fishing guide.